Hey guys, I'm Samoose and you're watching In The Mirror Car Reviews and for today I have the 2023 Hyundai Palisade Calligraphy. We're going to do a little walk around on the vehicle, show you some of the cool and interesting features that the vehicle has to offer. Uh, we'll take it for a test drive, I'll let you know what I feel of the driving dynamics of the vehicle and then we'll talk about overall if this car is worth the $50,000 price tag that it has to offer. Thank you so much, stay tuned. Well, about the Palisade Calligraphy for 2023, the Palisade Calligraphy got a complete refresh. So here you can tell that the front end of the vehicle is quite a bit different from the previous generation models. Have this really nice bold daytime running light. Front grille has been changed. This silver grille is exclusive to the Calligraphy trim level. All the other trim levels get a blacked out grille, which I think was kind of needed for the Palisade. And we'll give you that slightly more aggressive front end look. This one right here, Makes it look quite a bit more luxurious. Have really strong lines going around there. Um, I think the front end of this vehicle is significantly improved versus the previous generation. Coming to the side, you have these really interesting turbine wheels. And the thing about the calligraphy is all these panels right here are also matched to the color of the car. So they are painted. Side profile, quite boxy, but it is a family vehicle and that's to maximize the interior space. Nothing's really changed on the side of the car, no. In the back, the only difference you'll see is that the rear bumper fascia is slightly different versus the previous models, but for the most part, everything's unchanged. Except for this little guy right here. That little guy is a rear view camera, and I'll show you what that does when we get to the interior of the car. I'm taking a look at the trunk space here. Of course, you have a power-operated tailgate. Smart trunk also is available. Some decent room back here with the third row up. Some extra underneath storage area underneath here with all your jack and recommended tools to replace a spare tire. Now you also have buttons to control your third and second row. Third is power, you just press the button and then the seat goes down. And you can do the other side here as well. And what's nice, the fact that it's power is you can press the same button to make it go back up again. And there's the room. Now a few amenities back here in the third row. You have cup holders on either side, heated seat controls, as well as a USB type seat port back here for your kids. Alrighty, well let's take a look at the second row. You can also fold down the second row using these buttons over here. They are mechanical however, so if you press them, they'll only go down, they will not go back up. have your gas cap over here you actually have the actual gas cap you can place that right in there as well Palisade takes regular gas no fancy premium stuff now coming back here to the second row the doors are nice and wide and the windows are large really nice because it makes the cabin feel very roomy you have sun shades back here also a few cup holders a few different sizes which is nice and I really like this trim, the black trim, the black gloss trim with the silver pinstriping in there. Looks really cool, as well as this little part right here with the stitching and perforation in the leather. Now taking a look at the second row, this is of course the black interior as you can see. There is an optional beige interior that you can get as well. Uh, one thing about the calligraphy is these headrests. They are adjustable, kind of like in an airplane, so you can make the headrest hug your head a little bit more if you wanted to. Captain's chairs, of course, adjustable armrest back here. Now having a seat, there's really good room back here. Feels nice and open, especially with the sunshade opened up back here. This does not open, the front sunroof does open, however. Feels nice and roomy. Overall, the interior does feel quite premium and very, very nice. All the touch points are very nice. This does come with premium Napa leather seating. Have some mat pockets over here, a little pocket for maybe your cell phone. Have heated and cooled seats back here. That's really nice. Automatic temperature control, which you can control the third row completely separately. 12 volt socket, traditional household socket, and USB type C's. 
in the back of these uh, seats back here. Really neat. We'll fold up the third row and just kind of show you how the third row looks as well. All right, so getting in the third row, you can either press this button or the button over here to make the seat move forward and give you access to the third row. There's also a nice little grab handle over here make getting in and out a little bit easier as well. Getting in through this, this side over here wasn't too much of a trouble. As a matter of fact, it was quite easy and quite comfortable. Right now, the seat is quite far forward, as you can tell, but still good, good leg room in the second row over there. But I'm very well in terms of headroom as well as leg room back here. Now that seat right there is all the way back. So let's have a seat back here and see how that feels. Well, I'm about five foot nine and yeah, my, my knees are certainly touching the back of the seat. I don't think I would be very, very comfortable for a long period of time, but for short trips, I certainly would be okay. And of course the seats are on rail, so the passengers up front can adjust that a little bit for you as well. But overall, the seating area is nice. You have a nice large window, so you don't feel like you're enclosed or trapped like in a little box or something like that. Having cup holders and a USB type C is certainly gonna be nice for children or anything like that. A little extra window, nice to have back here. The seats also do recline. So if I wanna be a little bit more comfortable here, I can recline my seat. That's very nice. All right, let's go check out the front end of the vehicle. All right, so getting to the front of the car, on the door over here, you have your memory seating position, all up and down automatic windows and child locks that are electronic back here as well. Now the seat is really nice to talk about because in the calligraphy model, you have extended thigh support, you have adjustable lumbar support four way, as well as you can adjust the bolstering and how much the seat hugs you in. And this button right here, it's called Ergo Motion. It inflates and deflates air bubbles inside of the seat to kind of move you around, sort of like a massage, but not quite as, uh, as strong. It's, it doesn't really hit your pressure points all that much. It just kind of moves you around in your seat, which is very nice to have, especially on longer trips. Now sitting inside, nice solid thunk to the door, and overall the cabin I have to say it feels very luxurious in here. I have the nice 12.3 inch display here, as well as the digital instrumentation panel, which has this really cool feature called blind spot view monitoring. It uses the 360 cameras, and when you put your blinker on, it shows you what's in your blind spot. Very nice to have. I don't know if you can tell, but you have a heads up display there too. Steering wheel for the calligraphy model would be two-tone if you had the lighter beige interior. You can see where that stitching is right here, right, right where that crease is. That's where the two colors would separate. But the steering wheel is changed for 2023. It has this really nice look to it with some silver accents and silver buttons in here as well. I like that everything is a physical, physical button. Everything's easily laid out. Cruise control, your trip computer can be controlled over here. All of your Bluetooth and voice commands are right in here as well, which will be very simple to operate. And so is the touchscreen. A few things to note about the touchscreen. You have a volume knob and a tune knob, so no messing around with the actual screen to change that up. And all of your major controls for that screen have a physical and dedicated shortcut button. That right there is how you make an infotainment system easy to use. So if I wanna to jump to the radio or to media, so I can select FM, AM, Sirius XM, or even Sounds of Nature, all I gotta do is just press a button. And that's very neat to have. You also have a split screen, which you can hide that away. Now down here, the calligraphy model now has a little touch display for your climate control system. So you can adjust everything in the front and in the rear of the vehicle by a press of a button, but we still have physical controls for the actual temperature, right front and rear defrosting, as well as the recirculation. Push button shifter, quite smart. If you put in drive and try to open the door, it puts itself right back in park, heated and cooled seat controls, and a nice little cubby storage space area over here where you're greeted with two cup holders, which are retractable, which is kind of neat. 
if you need a little extra space you can retract those and push them out if you need another cup holder and a wireless phone charger down here as well with additional storage underneath this whole area right a few additional charging ports 12 volts as well as if we look inside of here even more charging ports down here so plenty of charging very nice to have now also you get this really cool suede headliner feels very nice to the touch and there's the rearview mirror so right here you can see me hello and the mirror car reviews <laughs> or you can turn that into the camera that's for the first time in hyundai's history that that has been done very neat to have, so all your kids that are back there are not in your way. However, you can still check on them with this little additional mirror right here. Pretty cool. Now the actual touch display, not much to talk about here. It is, I'll tell you, a very easy system to use. It has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. However, it is not wireless. You do have to plug in through the USB right over here to use that. But the internal system for your map is actually very good, very fast to respond to touch very easy one some cool gimmicky features like passenger talk you can yell at your kids back there and the third row it just picks up the microphone from right up top over here and feeds the noise all the way to the back or even quiet mode which turns everything off in the back for a radio and leaves just a small hint a little bit of radio in the front of the car as well but overall i really like this system it's very easy to use and uh, voice commands are pretty okay as well well let's take it for a test drive and see how it feels on the road and a special thanks to Gettle Hyundai and Genesis of Sarasota for providing me this vehicle today all right so setting off in the Palisade have the push button shifter all you got to do is just press D for drive and let the car go now a few things to mention right off the bat, a few things that I do personally really, really like is the seating position, right? The seating position, all of your touch points where your elbows rest and the, the reach to the steering wheel and the actual grasp of the steering wheel is very, very, very nice. The uh, visibility out the front is also very, very good. Uh, you got a really large windshield, not much of a blind spot in any of these areas and you do have the blind spot cameras of course for anything in the back but you do have large windows so visibility is not much of an issue all righty now the palisade comes with the same engine configuration as it did from the previous year so you still have the 3.8 liter v6 paired to the eight speed automatic transmission which makes around what 290 horsepower and about 260 foot pounds of torque however it is one of the only offerings now for 2023 to still have a v6 you can tow just about 5,000 pounds on the vehicle and you can do that quite easily because of the auto leveling rear suspension in the back it doesn't look like the car struggling at all to tow anything um, and the power delivery is very 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 smooth um, which many people would like that i believe in in a segment of this vehicle you don't want to have a small engine and kind of feel like underpowered. Yeah, the turbos, they really do a good job of providing you plenty of torque, but a lot of people will certainly like the uh, natural feel of the V6 um, that this car has to offer. Another thing, auto hold, very nice to have. Just take your foot off the brake, the car holds itself in place, and it does have the auto shutoff feature. If you do not like it, however, super simple, press a button right over here, and that totally gets rid of that. But yeah, the overall positioning is very nice. Having this rear view mirror that is a digital mirror is uh, nice to have. You can completely adjust that or turn that off so you can see yourself in the mirror. Very nice. Sunroof, nice and open. Of course, you can open up the whole sunroof. The uh, touch display here, like I mentioned, very, very simple and easy to use. Just click map, boom, there it is. If you wanna go into the radio, click the radio, there it is. Um, if you have your Bluetooth or anything like that, press media, there you go. And you also have a favorite button over here, which you can program to do go straight into Apple CarPlay or Android Auto if you wanted to. Steering feels very light. This is uh, supposed to be a very comfortable 
family oriented SUV and the calligraphy will add a lot of luxury sense to this vehicle as well right now of course if you're looking at this car you're probably considering uh, it to be your family vehicle be very safe to drive and get as much space and as much car for the money as you can that is really the whole idea of the Hyundai Palisade you get a whole lot of car for a very reasonable price tag right so if you're looking for a big three-row SUV and you don't really want a minivan or anything like that which minivans nowadays they are really nice but they are getting up there in price so for just around 50,000 MSRP um, you get the top of the line Palisade with the premium finishes of Napa leather ambient lighting throughout the whole interior digital displays which work fantastically in the car America's best warranty a very smooth powertrain the v6 is really really nice those cameras are fantastic switching lanes as well um, overall it's a really nice package and uh, it shows the Palisade and the Telluride which is a shared platform for the uh, Hyundai Palisade have been doing fantastic in the US market they've been killing it with sales it's really even hard to find a Palisade in dealer stocks right now. Uh, dealers are getting rid of these cars very, very quickly. Now, a few other things. Um, this is a very, very safe car, and Hyundai has packed pretty much all of their Hyundai Smart Sense features from the standard car up. So for the most part, every single one of these Palisades is going to have every single safety feature apart from the cameras. The cameras, you do have to go, I believe, to the SEL Premium to get the full surround view cameras for um, when you put it in reverse, of course, which also gives you that camera feature in your digital display. That is a great feature to have. Now, in addition to that, you also have a heads-up display, which I can see, and you probably cannot at this point in time, but it gives you some nice information like the speed you're traveling at, the speed limit, and the car's cameras can also detect the road signs around. So if you're approaching a stop sign, it'll show you that there's a stop sign that you're approaching, both in the heads-up display and the driver information display right in here as well. A few nice things to have. Now, the overall ride, it's very smooth, very comfortable. It's not a truck chassis, so it doesn't kind of wiggle around you if you hit a bump or something like that. Um, they really did a good job on the 23 refresh to make the cabin quite a bit quieter so now not only do you get acoustic glass in the front of the vehicle but also it puts in the rear glass to overall eliminate as much road noise coming inside of the cabin as possible which overall gives you a very quiet riding experience very smooth and comfortable with this v6 the transmission does a good job of you not even knowing that it's there and shifting gears for you and just the overall feel, yeah, I like it. It's a great family SUV. If uh, if you need to fit seven people in here, maybe three kids in the third row, maybe two adults in the third row, two adults should be okay. Three kids around ages, I don't know, eight to 12 probably should fare fine in the third row as well. Uh, the second row is fantastically comfortable with those captain's chairs, especially in the calligraphy model with them being not only heated, but cooled, having sunshades back there and the adjustable headrest, as well as the armrest, which is very, very, very nice. Coming to a stop, you can take your foot off the brake with the auto hold. That stays on for the entire trip of the vehicle. You do have to turn it on every time you start the vehicle, however. Now... Once I make a right hand turn over here, I will kind of demonstrate some of the safety features that the vehicle has. Um, I won't be taking it on the highway, but it does have something called highway driving assist, which is going to take everything I'm gonna show you to a slightly further level without warning you to put your hands back on the steering wheel for a longer period of time, because it'll use the GPS data to kind of predict where you're going so it can, uh, it can kind of know what it's approaching instead of when you're just driving around here it does not recognize the not highways so one thing you have to activate every time you start the car if you want to use it and the buttons right over here it's the lane follow assist 
it's kind of like the lane keep that most of us are kind of known and used to but lane keep assist works at speeds over 40 miles an hour and it's like a warning system if you're merging out of your lane without using an indicator it pulls you back right it warns you it beeps at you this right here all it's doing is steering and keeping the car centered in a lane and what's nice about that it works at any speed as long as the camera can detect the lines on the road it should work and it turns on green in your dashboard to indicate that it's working it does a fantastic job of keeping you dead center in the lane you can sometimes feel it adjusting itself going through intersections like these it doesn't really feel lost or anything like that you can kind of look a little bit forward ahead and know that it's going to be hitting some of those lines again and it does a great job look i haven't put my hands on the wheel for quite some time now yes it will warn you hey drive the car don't let me drive it all by myself um, which of course that's what you're supposed to do it's not a self-driving feature whatsoever it's just an assist to kind of take a little effort off of you driving the vehicle but as you can tell it's doing a really fantastic job at doing so right now if you step over the line, it'll pull you back. If I step over it, um, if the wheels start hitting the lines, it will beep at me as well to indicate that. Adaptive cruise control is now standard on all Palisade, which also gives you pedestrian detection. So um, what that means if for forward collision avoidance assist, if uh, you're gonna rear end the vehicle, all you need is a camera type. Now, because it has a radar type, it can also detect people crossing the road and it can slam on the brakes for you if it feels like you're going to hit somebody which uh all in all great features to have uh if you want to keep your family safe and everybody else around you safe um this is the car that will get everything done for you crash test ratings are fantastic plenty of space and you get all of this for just around fifty thousand dollars us now guys let me know um in the comment section below, what do you think of the overall uh, design inside, outside of the vehicle? Are there some of the features that you wish you would uh, have in this particular car? If you're an owner, is there something that you don't like about the vehicle? Um, personally, I'm a salesman for Hyundai, so we go through a lot of these vehicles and uh, customers don't really have anything negative to say about the Palisade. Everybody seems to love the vehicle. There might have been some issues in the very first model year um, of the vehicle, but everything has been resolved, especially for this refresh. Having a navigation display now standard on all of them, this screen right here comes standard on every single Palisade, believe it or not. The only negative to it is the pre-facelift model had an 8-inch display, quite a bit smaller, not as nice looking as this one. However, it offered wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which to a lot of people, that is certainly uh, a positive feature to have, right? Now, they've compl completely gotten rid of that because any Hyundai or Genesis with a navigation display such as this one requires you to use a cord for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So, kind of a nitpick feature there, um, but it does have navigation standard across all trim levels now. The navigation system works fantastic. It warns you about traffic. Uh, it's very accurate in terms of all of that as well. Um, the display is nice and easy to see. You can, of course, change the view to like a 3D view if you want to over here. Um, the voice commands work okay. I won't say they're fantastic or like Siri or anything like that, um, but it does, it does the job well. It really does. Now approaching back to the dealership, um, guys, let me know in the comments section below, what do you think of the uh, Palisade overall? I'm gonna go to the conclusions now uh, of what I think about the Palisade. Uh, and don't think I'm gonna be biased just because I sell these vehicles. This car is really great. Um, so let's get to it. Let me know what you think uh, in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so overall, what can I say about the Hyundai Palisade? Well, for $50,000, you certainly get a lot of car for the money. The styling may not be for everybody. Um, if you prefer something different in terms of maybe a little bit more rugged or something like that, maybe the Kia Telluride would be the better option for you. 
but if you're not going to take it off-road um, not much of an adventure vehicle for you but you want something very nice luxurious uh, packed with features and a very safe vehicle for your family that can fit six people at least very very comfortably seven if you want to fit some smaller people in the back this is certainly a great option i really like what they did with the refresh for the front end of the vehicle and the overall interior of the car as well the second row seating is fantastic these seats are very very comfortable you have plenty of amenities back here for your kids like charging ports little pockets to put stuff in here um, your AC vents are mounted up top, which is very nice. Every person individually can customize that as well. And going back here to the front of the vehicle again, a few more things I'd like to mention is once again the seat, the overall layout, this really cool gloss plastic looking um, material that goes around the whole vehicle really makes it feel luxurious. It's kind of like a copy off of Mercedes and what they're doing with their gloss black plastics and the cameras right the cameras are nice and clear very easy to see you can turn on this 3d view here as well so you can look all around your palisade and make sure you park the car in properly and it also has a Hyundai smart park feature where you can use just the key fob to pull it in or out of a parking space it's not self park but nevertheless if you get parked in a tight spot you can pull the car in or out so overall, I think this is certainly a vehicle that you should shortlist. Um, you get a lot of vehicle for the money. The competition is very, very, very tight in this segment. But with America's best warranty, complimentary maintenance, and all the features you get for a $50,000 price tag, I think it's great. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Um, and I'll see you next time.